Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer asks, getting type error init missing, one required positional argument on delete when trying to add a parent table after a child table with entries. Let's break down the issue. Our viewer has two classes in their SQLite database, a parent table called category and a child table named article. They initially created the article class and added entries before defining the category class. However, when they tried to run the migration command, they encountered a type error related to the foreign key relationship. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. The error you're encountering is due to a missing required argument in your foreign key definition. In Django, when you define a foreign key, you must specify the on-delete behavior. To fix this, you need to modify the foreign key line in your article model. You can use models.cascade as the onDelete argument, which will delete related articles when a category is deleted. Now, let's look at the updated article model with the correct foreign key definition. This ensures that your database maintains referential integrity. After making this change, you can run the migration command again. This will create the necessary database schema without errors. In summary, always remember to specify the onDelete argument when using foreign key in Django models. This will help you avoid similar errors in the future. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To fix the type error when adding a parent table after a child table, make sure to include onDelete e equals models.cascade in your foreign key definition. This ensures that when a parent entry is deleted, the related child entries are also removed, preventing complications. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In Django 2.0 and later, the onDelete argument is required for foreign key fields. This wasn't the case in earlier versions, where it defaulted to Cascade. To replicate the previous behavior, you should specify on delete as models cascade in your foreign key definition. This change ensures your code behaves the same way as it did in earlier Django versions. For more details on on delete and its options, check the official Django documentation. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're encountering a type error due to a missing onDelete argument, here are some options you can use.
Let's now look at another user suggested answer. If you're encountering a type error due to a missing on delete argument, you can set it to none to keep the default value before migration. In Django 2.0, on delete becomes a required argument. To maintain the current default behavior, set on delete to models.cascade in your models and migrations. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. To fix the type error you're encountering, remember that since Django 2.0, both foreign key and one-to-one -one field require an on-delete argument. Here's how to use them correctly. And that's it guys. We've gone through, I hope you found your resolution and found the answer you're looking for. If it helped, please hit subscribe, really appreciate it. And be on the lookout for more technical help videos. Have a good one. Thank <laughs> you.